Next film. Training Day. Training Day. <clears throat> Training Day is interesting because you don't think of it as one of the best films, but if you go back and you watch that movie, that's a fucking good movie. What's really cool about that is Denzel Washington obviously has a great resume, always plays powerful characters, but what was cool about that film is that's one of those ones where you see him step outside of his normal uh, realm of projection and goes from being like, I'm serious with a mission, to just being like, I'm fucked in the head! I do whatever the fuck I want! King Kong ain't got shit on me! <laughs> but I run these streets. Uh, what was Training Day nominated, or what was nominated that year? I like. I just want that year was Gladiator, Aaron Brockovich, Chocolat, 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 um, Traffic, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden. Dragon. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon beat Training Day. I understand that martial arts has this cult following and people love, and that is the martial arts movie. It's a fucking martial arts movie. Come on. And it beats, like, the characters in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Remember how we were just talking about how characters are so important to Oscar movies? What the fuck? They're, like, running on trees and shit. There's I, no... What the fuck? Ah! Uh. <laughs> but I, when ninety percent of the movie is all like all as you hear is that like little Asian person playing that little fucking string thing going and, and fucking people running on trees to <laughs> like, no 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 that's not a fucking movie it's a it's it's a fucking segue yeah uh, it's oh a my god two hour long segue I believe Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon is very similar to um. Star Wars 4, it's introducing things and it's influencing things. There is no denying that it has a lot of influence on the movies that came after it. But does it have all of the aspects of an Oscar movie? Fuck no, it doesn't. I, I would love to see all these other parts of Crouching Tiger that make it, like, the best film of the year. I can't even watch it because the effects and the way that they did things. I get it. it they did it over-the-top cheesy as a throwback to all these old films. But, I mean, that it, it borderlines on a spoof movie. Yeah, it does. And it that's really not does. Oscar. Yeah. So, Training Day, I mean, Gladiator, best movie ever made. Like, let's be honest, not a fucking prayer. <laughs> right, but right, it should have right, been I like been Gladiator <laughs> a lot. And you know what? It might be in the top ten. But it's not fucking the greatest movie of it's all time. It's the greatest movie of all time. It says it right there. Greatest movie. Anyways, um, so Training Day definitely should have at least been up there, though. You have Ethan Hawke, who is a very good actor. He's very well respected. He's been nominated multiple times, not just for Training Day. Um, he was nominated for something a while ago, and he was also nominated for Boyhood. I wasn't a big fan of Boyhood at all, but he did do very well in that movie. Mm -hmm. um, and Denzel Washington is... Quite honestly, one of the best He's actors. He's Denzel. I He's mean, one of the best actors alive. And plus, um, does he not look bitchin' with yeah, a fro? He, but he um, he won the Oscar. Ethan Hawke was nominated. But the film itself was not nominated for Best Picture. Way, right here is going to be a picture from Remember the Titans with uh, Denzel Ro Washington rocking killer fro. Right you here. really want me to fucking yeah, edit that? Yeah, that fucking in? fro should be honored. Okay, so... That dynamic, very similar to the Fight Club dynamic between Norton and Pitt. You have Ethan Hawke and Denzel Washington, and to be completely honest, it was better. It was a better dynamic. You have this new cop who has a lot of principles, who wants to do good, he wants to be a good cop, and you have Denzel Washington, the experienced cop who does not follow the rules, who does what he believes is right, and he's also got himself in quite a bit of shit. The plot is deep, but not too convoluted to make it a good movie. And it's not plot-driven. It is a completely character-driven movie. So how do you have two performances that are recognized by the Academy? The movie is completely based around what these two characters are doing, yet the movie as a whole is not nominated. Yeah, 
the only thing I could say knock, uh, the only knock I've got on it is that you could kind of say it steals a little bit from Point Break. Mm, what are you talking about? Like, like the what's way they, what the, the way they do that, how it starts off as one image and then flips to the reverse where you see the bad guy, yeah, be, the okay. good guy become the bad guy. I mean, it's it's a little bit different, but it kind of that's the only draw on it is that it's kind of been done a little bit before, but at the same point, it also sets the same tone for movies similar like that for in the future for like Street Kings. Very which true. Yeah, is it definitely almost did identical in a sense. But at the same time, not quite. Yeah, a Street Kings felt similar to Training Day. It did. I mean, it definitely has some different twists, and I think Street Kings was uh, a little bit darker and focused on different aspects of the characters. Well, there was more corruption. Well, eh, not really. It was more of a higher up corruption. Yeah. Where was, Training Day was a right here corruption. It was. Whereas Street Kings is more is more of tearing down the system as yeah. opposed to defeating like one individual standing in your way. Yeah, um, I think that Point Break, it's hard to say, but I think it's a little bit more of a plot-driven movie than a character-driven movie, because his, the whole plot in Point Break is to figure out who these bank robbers are and to go undercover. So the plot, the goal, is driving the movie. In Training Day, there isn't a clear-cut goal. Um, it's simply... This is Ethan Hawke, Hoyt, Officer mm. Hoyt, who is training to be part of this special unit, and we don't have this plot. We don't know where the movie is going at all. In Point Break, you know the steps he has to take to accomplish his mission. In Training Day, we are literally, figuratively, mm. <laughs> experiencing what Ethan Hawke is experiencing. We are go we don't know what's going to happen at all. Mm. We're getting introduced to all these contacts, to all these like neighborhoods. We're meeting like all this corruption. We're seeing what Denzel does and it's so interesting to see like what he does that's dirty and how the conflict that Officer Hoyt has to go through when he sees this illegal shit. It's so intricate because he can't just be like, this shit is wrong, because then he's going to get set up and completely fucked by Denzel and his and crew. What they do so well is when he first comes in, they basically build this glorious image, which is what he expects to see when he arrives. And then as the movie progresses, it slowly deteriorates after being grown. Yeah. And it's, it's something that you feel that journey and you feel that same suspense and you deal with that same inner turmoil till it gets to that breaking point where you're like, whoa, okay. Or is it that point breaking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love Beautiful. a good pun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's where we need some tea. We need to just kind of taste it for a I moment. should put that it... bird's eye view media seal of approval <laughs> from the Game of Thrones that'll just <laughs> boom! <laughs> right pop up. Oh. Yeah, but strictly speaking, it... Just watching that conflict that he has to deal with is amazing. Um, and compared to Chocola... It just makes me think of that. Fucking Chocola? But that being said, Training Day is very highly regarded as one of the better cop movies. It's one of the better... You know, the corrupt cop is a theme we've seen a hundred times. It's done all the time. We see that shit constantly. Street Kings, uh, the, the same team as Training Day made one with a bunch of different uh brooklyn's finest with a bunch there's of different that one characters. where they work on the, the the cash truck and it turns out that they're all stealing oh they yeah, do the yeah, heist, yeah, like, yeah 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 so it obviously it's a formula but training day was one of the first movies that did that to a very high quality level and again influence is important in oscar films and i would argue that training day has had a lot of influence in the cop movies that have come after it yeah, it's it's one of those movies that, you know, yeah, maybe the idea has been played out before, but when you bring in the right cast, if you have quality acting and screenwriting and all that jazz, you can really still take an old idea and still make a masterpiece. Yeah, and the only, like, it's a theme that has been copied a lot, but it hasn't been done well a lot. Like, no. I think Street Kings was very good, and I think Brooklyn's Finest was good. 
not as good as those two. But then you have, like, I think Safe House, which is about agents and shit, is not... It really, it seems like it takes a lot from Training Day. And that movie, eh, like, it's mm. it's just, like, whatever. Well, it's like I, an average movie. I think it's a great misconception that to make an Oscar film that every film should be a new idea. Sometimes a great piece of art is something that's been done before. But just done, done well. Exactly. Yeah, or added to and expanded upon, you know. It, exactly. Because, I mean... If, if that's how it worked, I mean, back to the, the art reference, I mean, like, if if you if you can't go down that same road again, put, put your own twist on it, I mean, once one fucking painting is painted, there should be never another painting. Like, <laughs> yeah, like... I mean, exactly. <laughs> we see war films especially. Like, oh, that's a type of movie that gets made over and over again. And if, if, if it's done well, it's done well. Yeah, exactly. And you don't have to break the mold to be exceptional. Ah, oh, there's ghosts. Ah. Guess what? Save it turns out you're dead this whole time. Oh, 